Hey everyone, welcome back to Wigs Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this really cool scroll effect here inside of Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I am in Wix Studio and what I want to do is grab this section right here and we're gonna make this really large. Um, but what I want to do first is actually just apply a CSS grid to it. So we'll go ahead and press apply and we're gonna want to add a one by two grid. For this top row, let's go ahead and make this like 150 VH. And then for the bottom row, let's go ahead and make it like 80 VH, something like that. So now we should have something that looks similar to this and it looks pretty good. For this top area, all I want to do is add a paragraph and let's go ahead and style it. So what I want to do is choose like a, a bold font. So let's just do like Montserrat bold. We'll also make this pretty big. Maybe we'll do something like 36 and 16, something like this. Let's center the text. We'll make it a lot bigger or wider. So we'll do something like this should do and let's just go ahead and center it inside of this section fantastic now let's go ahead and work down here in the bottom section so the first thing i want to do is add a container let's stretch the container and we're going to change the background to this nice purple color just like this inside of this let's go ahead and add another container for this container i'm going to turn on advanced sizing by pressing the three dots and turning the toggle on and we're gonna set the width to like 85% and we'll just center it and send it to the top. And for now, let's also just go ahead and expand the height a little bit just like this. For the background color, let's remove it. And here we're also gonna to want to add a CSS grid. Now for this one, we want three columns just like that. Fantastic. Over here in the left hand side, we're gonna to want to have some text. So what I'm gonna do is just write text and press enter to kind of make it a vertical text. Oops, something like this. We'll also go ahead and change the color and we'll center the text just like this. And for responsive behavior, let's set this to hug just like that. And we'll go ahead and center it here inside of the left column here. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this and we'll just drag it all the way over here and we'll place it in the center. Now with this grid here, what I want to do is come over to the columns and we'll set both the left and the right column to minimum content, just so it looks like this. And of course we can even raise these up to maybe like 56 in sizing. I think that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and do that for both of these text elements. So they take up a little bit more space. And then with this container, let's also add like a 150 pixel gap, something like that. In the middle, we're gonna want some sort of graphic. It's kind of cool if we have like an animated one. So what we're gonna do is come over to add and I've actually uploaded this one right here. So we're gonna go ahead and add this one. The next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and resize it a little bit. So we're just gonna drag the corners up just a smidge. And then inside of this container, we'll go ahead and center it just like this. Fantastic. So now with this element selected, what we're gonna want it to do is start a little bit higher, but as the user scrolls down the website, it's gonna move into its current position. So we need to come over to interactions. We're gonna go to scroll and we're gonna add one. We want the animation to go to its design, not from its design. So we want the end position to be like this. So we want to its design. And then what we're gonna choose is move right here. In the bottom right, we can press adjust animation. And for the angle, I want to set this to zero. For the distance, let's go ahead and set this to like 800 pixels. So it's gonna be pretty far. And for the animation area, I think zero to 50% looks pretty good. Keep in mind that the animation area is the basically your viewport. So 0% is at the bottom of the screen. So as soon as we see this at the bottom of the screen, so as soon as we're like right here, the animation is gonna start and it's gonna start moving for us. Um, and then once we hit 50% down the screen, so once this element is basically dead middle, um, horizontally, it's basically, or vertically, it's gonna have the animation end. But if we go ahead and preview the website and check it out here, this is what it's gonna look like. And I think it looks really, really cool. 
But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.